All right, we're welcome to Heinz, Oregon, next door neighbor to Burns, Oregon. And we are at an old church that sat vacant for about seven years. And recently, a guy named Boomer opened up his own restaurant here and called Boomer's Place. Now, wait till you see what they did with the sanctuary. This is what used to be a church that sat vacant for like seven years. And this is the bar which used to be the altar. And now they've got a bar up in here. And then this really cool space that is now Boomer's Place. Is that not the coolest thing ever? So you guys, this is located in Hines, Oregon, which is right next to Burns. You don't hear as much about it, but it is partly here. Now, hold on, let me interrupt. Mike ruined my signal last time, but check out their food. I know, this is just scary, isn't it? I'll stay off of you. Oh, but I just want to show your sandwich, okay? Just let me show your sandwich. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'll show yours, and I'll leave you out of it. She's in the witness protection program, and we have to protect her identity. <laughs> so, you guys, that's Boomer. So, Boomer, talk to me. Tell me, what, how did you, where are you from, what's your background, everything? Well, we moved here, uh, my kids and I uh, moved here about uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, from Montana. I took a job up 395 at uh, a resort and that didn't work out but I became friends with uh, the owner's little brother and him and I uh, decided that uh, we would start a restaurant and brew pub together and here we are two and a half years later. Um, so you're a chef by, by business? Oh yeah, I've been cooking professionally for 34 years. <clears throat> cooked all over the Northwest, uh, Montana, Oregon, California, Washington. So why Heinz, Oregon? Well, I was here. I was here uh, because of the job that we moved here for. And uh, when that job didn't uh, quite work out the way that it had planned. Um, plan B. Yep, went to plan B. Um, my partner, uh, he said, yeah, let's do it. And he, he's going to brew the beer. I'll uh, make the food, I tie the flies, and uh, so... So are you making your own beer now? Yes, what currently. Yeah, what's that? Where do you do it? Downstairs in the basement, we've got a couple of rooms, one set up for brewing, one set up for fermenting. And do you serve it here? Not yet. The, uh, we're making it, and, but uh, the uh, 1st of October is probably when we'll get our brewery license. Can, does your signal go downstairs? Can we see it? It probably doesn't go downstairs very okay. well. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Show me your show me your throne. Well, so I'll show you my messy my messy throne because uh, we just got done doing eighty fire dinners uh, for firefighters. So, is this the only thing that's left from the, the old church days? Is the pew? Pretty close, pretty close. You know, there's the there's the wood beams that are. Yeah, you know, look, you guys, look at the, the upstairs on this you thing. Know, the iconic wood beams from the old church. Uh, the first church that was in here was a Lutheran church. And then we're pretty sure there was a Baptist and um, an Assembly of God at some point, but uh, sat empty for at least seven years before we bought the place. So what a perfect space for you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it worked out great because we, uh, <clears throat> you know, we've got a commercial space to, to do our work in. sell Look at our this kitchen. Right, sell our goods. And, uh, you know, I've got space downstairs for my business partner to brew uh, the beer. And then uh, my uh, daughter and I, we live upstairs. And your German Shepherd. Yeah, my German Shepherd on it. Because when I drove up, I heard the German Shepherd, and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't God. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, he, he's got his own little perch up there that he watches everybody that walks into the front door and wants to make sure that they're supposed to be here. So, you guys, I want to show you again the picture of this. So, I want you to tell me more about the beer in a second, though. We are sponsored by Toyota and your Northwest Toyota dealers, and also the Harney County Chamber of Commerce. And the Hines, the Harney, I guess it's actually the Harney County Chamber of Commerce, Correct. but that includes Hines and Burns and everybody in the area, French Glen, everybody. But look at this place. So, the beer, what's the beer going to be called? Well, the first beer that we're working on uh, is, uh, is, is a Wee Heavy, which is essentially an Imperial Scotch Ale. Oh, now that's and, a little different. Right. And, uh, you know, I, I prefer darker beers over uh, IPAs and stuff like that. I don't do the, the bitter. 
I like it nice and smooth. You like it better rather than bitter. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, the you know once we get this one perfected, all of the the beers that Jeff is going to brew will be named after flies that I tie. Oh, seriously? Now, sh- so you're a fly tire. So you're Correct. obviously a fisherman. Yeah, about 90% of the flies that I have up there for sale uh, in the fly shop, uh, my, my youngest daughter, Emily, who's 17, her and I tie those in my fly tying room. So what is it about cooking for you? Why do you... Would- a, a guy's got to eat. Yeah, but you're more than just a guy. <laughs> like, if, that's me. If I sat down and cook something, Right. Well, you know, I mean, I've been cooking for 34 years professionally, and uh, I, I just like to bring, you know, a little bit of happiness to people. They sit down and they're, you know, first of all, they're like, man, look at all this food. Secondly, they're like, wow, this is great. I love this food. And, uh, you know, that's what it's about right there. So hold on. Something's on there. You got to see. What is? What do we got here? Those are Chinese Tootsie Rolls. These are Chinese Tootsie Rolls? Come here, come here, come here, come here. You got to tell me what is in a Tootsie Roll. Well, so it's a, it's a wonton, you know, egg roll wrap. Oh. And it's got uh, cream cheese and um, uh, shrimp and um, a green onion on the inside. And then they're deep fried. And then I make a, uh, I make a special uh, sweet and sour dipping sauce to go with them. And uh, you, the only thing you really got to worry about with these guys is that first bite because they like to squirt a little bit. So you guys look at the you guys, hello. Hi. So what are you what are you doing? I'm stirring the beer batter. It's beer batter. Which beer is that? Uh, that it happens to be the Dirty Bastard Scotch Ale. That's the Dirty Bastard Scotch Ale, and I just wanted to say that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the funnest one to say, really. It's the most fun thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's one I had last night that was created. I can't even say it right now on here. <laughs> So show me your flies. Uh, your well, let me uh, let me run these tootsies out to this gentleman. Okay. So you guys, we are at Boomer's place. It's in an old church that uh, he renovated, and now it's like the hot spot in Hines, Oregon. Are you okay with me putting you on? You're not on the witness protection program, are you? Okay, good. There he goes. Is that just lunch or fun? Uh, this is just fun. So a beer and some appetizers. I can't think of a better way to do Tuesday. Nope, me either. <laughs> Tacos are way overrated. That's right. <laughs> Show me your flies. I, I hope that people take that the right way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Boomer, you are. You guys, so look at this place. This is really awesome. So you, you tie, oh, wow. Yeah, so we tie about 90% of these. Some of these salmon and steelhead flies I don't tie. Because it's just a lot more material that I don't want to have to carry. But, um, you know, flies like, flies like this one right here. This happens to be a, a fresh prince. Um, these, are, these are deadly around these waters. So you, does, is everything you tie here for local waters then? No, actually a lot of these uh, I tied with Montana in mind when I was there. So whereabouts in Montana were you? Uh, well, I, I've been mostly in the, the Flathead Valley. Okay, I know it because my kid lives in Livingston. Nice. He's a fishing guide in Livingston, Montana. Okay. So I, I know where you're talking about. Yeah, so Flathead Valley, you know, Flathead Lake is huge. Oh, my gosh. It's, yeah. it's like 47 miles long yeah. and 22 miles wide. It's enormous. It's an enormous lake. It's the largest lake this side of the Mississippi. So we're doing a getaway package for people. We're going to do a package where people can come here. You okay. want to get involved? Hell yeah. So we're going to have some people come into Heinz. They're going to stay at the Best Western. So uh, you want to do like a $25 gift package for them? Sure. Sure. Okay. You bet. All right. So we're going to add that to one of our packages, $25 gift card to here. And Kathy and I are coming here tonight because we're going to have dinner. Perfect. Because you're open till 9 o'clock. What are your hours yep. normally? Normally, uh, we're 11 to 9, uh, except on Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays, I do breakfast. Uh, off the menu and then Sunday mornings I do a, a brunch buffet from 8 till noon Boomer thanks you bet that was at a, that wasn't as hard as you thought was it no, <laughs> no just because nobody else came in I knew you'd be okay yeah that was because you guys he's doing everything right now so thank you so you much and we'll see you tonight all right sounds all right, great guys so again I'm gonna give you one more look at Boomer's place because it is a really cool oh my wife's out in the truck she's watching there you go hon look at that and this is the little bar 
I really like this uh, bummer. Did you look at the bar top? No, let me get let me get it. And you guys, again, before I forget, I want to remind you, we are sponsored by Toyota and your local Northwest Toyota dealers and the Harney County Chamber of Commerce. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, so we collected, we collected most of this 12 tons of river rock um, that's, locally. That's and, in here? Yeah. And uh, a lot of it we went and picked out of the pile up at uh, Tidewater up in, in John Day. And... Uh, they thought we were crazy because we wanted to pick through their pile of river rocks. But as you can see, we wanted certain ones, certain sizes, certain colors. Now, is that on the sides too? Oh, yeah. So you have how many? You guys see around the sides? Hold on just a sec. I'm going to put this mic out, get this mic out of my hand. Um, but see along the sides. I'll do this. Along the sides over here. So you pick, you handpicked all that out. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, as you, and how much is there? <clears throat> there's about 12 tons of river rock that Good we put on the walls. Night. Boomer, this is like you, you'll never be able to leave here now. Right. <laughs> no kidding. All right, man. Thank you so much for sharing with you us. Bet. Thank you. All right. See you later. All right, All right you sure. guys again. So uh, this is the place when you come to Harney County and you're in the Burns or Hines area. This is the place to come and grab your meal, uh, grab a beer. And as he said, after, starting in October, they'll be brewing their own beer uh, and offering it to the public. All right. I'm Rick Dancer. Um, along with my wife, Kathy, and we are exploring in the backstories. Share this on your page because you may win a trip to Harney County, courtesy of Harney County, Toyota and Euro Thrust Toyota dealers, and a whole bunch of other really super kind people. I knew she wouldn't stay out. Come on in, hon. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at that. And these, see, these are the beams from the church, like the old church that was in here. But they put all the pine on there, and then all this rock they collected, like 12 ton of rock that they picked out themselves and put on the walls. That's awesome. Isn't that cute? Yeah. yeah. You come in like that? All right, you guys, we will talk to you soon. We're going to uh, our next story, which will be uh, live in just a few minutes. Uh, with um, Well, we're not going to tell you until we get there. All right, share it on your page.